In this video, I quickly want to run through the example scene for the fog particle preset example. The idea here was that I wanted to add a general kind of level of fog running over the entirety of the desert. So turning the original footage from this into this. So the first thing you want to do in that case is do a quick camera track, which will give us a camera to use so we ensure that we actually move through that 3D fog system. And then we can get to adding the actual fog itself. So for that, I brought in a particle fog box node, and let's just take a quick look at that in 3D space. Now in 3D, it is gonna be a little hard to see my particles. So I'm going to temporarily go into my node, hop over into the look tab, and turn up the opacity from 0.1 to one at which point you can see exactly where the particles lie in the scene, and also where they lie relative to the camera. So let's have a quick look at the properties as they existed for this shot. So on the emitter tab, basically I've set up my bounding box size for my particle system. I've set the uh, size of my particles to be 0.4. I could set them bigger, but I quite like the idea that there's just these kind of puffs of smoke and fog kind of existing elsewhere through the scene. I wanted to ensure that my particle life was longer than the length of my scene, in this case 24 frames. And finally I've set the amount, the kind of density of the fog throughout the 3D system. Over into the look, I'm using uh, the inbuilt node, I'm not using the custom image which I could plug into this top pipe on the fog box node itself. I set the animation speed to be 5, which is going to slowly revolve that fog over time. And of course, as I showed you before, my opacity was set to 0.1. So let's just close that out and have a quick look what that looks like in the scanline renderer. As you can see, there are a few little tiny things that maybe could be improved. For instance, the bottom of the sprites here have got a harsh fade out against that ground. However, actually once this is in motion and uh, the camera is moving through it, you really can't notice it. The thing that I do want to fix, however, is this hard line that we see at the back here. So underneath this node, I'm adding in a roto node, which will just slightly fade that out. And if we take a look at this composited over the back plane, what you can see is before that roto, we kind of get this slight hard line here. And then after that roto, it kind of fades out over the course of the desert. So at the bottom of this, I'm just plussing that smoke over the top. I've also done a little bit of a color correct there. And our effect is complete. We have a full 3D fog system entirely created inside of Nuke.